Well, in this part, we're going to talk about theories, how uh, the theories are developed in economics. Uh, so let's share with you the screen and uh, we'll see. So <clears throat> we see here that uh, uh, how the theories or what is theory? So what are theories? Uh, a theory is an ab abstraction from reality. Uh, a theory consists of variables can take on various specific values and some uh, variables are uh, dependent variables and some uh, variables are independent variables. So we see the relationship between these variables uh, in economics to develop a theory. Uh, and when we are developing a theory, because economics is operating in a real world, in a complex real world where the activities are going on all the time. So it is not possible to do some controlled experiments. So what we do, we assume uh, certain things uh, to make other things constant. And then we focus only on our uh, specific variables in which we are interested. And that's why assumptions are very uh, uh, important in economics. So we assume uh, certain things, for example, like we want to study trade. So what we do, we say that only there is a two, uh, two countries in the world. But that's not the reality, but we are assuming that there is only two countries and how they are uh, doing and why they are doing trade. So that's the assumptions we make to simplify the things and try to understand. Uh, then based on these uh, uh, theories, we predict uh, because uh, with the data, if we prove some theories, then we can use those theories to predict the future as well. So that's the way. Uh, theory is tested by confronting uh, its prediction with evidence. And if a theory is in conflict with facts, it will usually be amended to make it consistent with those facts, or it will be discarded. So theory, uh, initially, uh, an economist presented some theory. And in order to prove that theory, they uh, they <clears throat> uh, they test it, and if the test uh, if the theory passes the test, then we say that it's a theory. Uh, but if it is not, then we discard it or we amend it, and then we prove it. So the scientific approach is used uh, uh, in economics, and that's why we call it as a, uh, a science. Uh, economics is a social science, so that's why uh, we are not. So this is the process uh, through which the theories are. Uh, developed in economic uh, in economics uh, uh, definition and assumptions about behavior. So we we start studying the behavior uh, of a consumer or a producer or uh, any any behavior uh, because in economics we study the behavior uh, of the economic agents. So we uh, define assumptions and. Uh, then we start the process of logical deductions that what is the logical uh, outcome of this uh, behavior is. Uh, based on that logical uh, uh, deductions, uh, we established a hypothesis. Now this hypothesis or a prediction is our statement, which we want to prove. Then we use data or collect data uh, to prove this hypothesis is true or not true. So empirical analysis or observations and testing of the theory, after that, we conclude that the theory does or does not provide a better explanation of the fact than alternative competing theories. So if the theory passes the test, then no consequence action is necessary, although the theory should be subject to continued scrutiny if the theory is in conflict with the evidence, then the theory is discarded in favor of a superior competing theory. So that's the way that it works. So <clears throat> now a very uh, common thing what we observe in, uh, in economics is the relationship between the variables. And we just discussed that there are two types of variables endogenous and exogenous. Endogenous means independent, uh, dependent, and uh, exo exogenous means independent. Uh, like, uh, for example, just to understand the idea of this uh, uh, endogenous and exogenous or dependent and independent, uh, uh, we see that when the weather increase, when the weather become hot uh, or uh, increase the temperature, 
uh, we see the demand for uh, cold drinks or ice cream increase. Now the demand for ice cream uh, increase is a dependent variable and it is dependent on the temperature outside or weather. But the weather itself is an independent variable. It is not dependent on the sales of ice cream. So that's that's a uh, endogenous or exogenous uh, variable. So temperature or uh, weather outside or uh, the <clears throat> uh, climate is an exogenous variable. But the sales of these uh, cold drinks or ice cream is endogenous or dependent variable. So this is the way that we can explain the things. And now, uh, it's important that when we are talking about the variables, so we see whether these uh, variables are uh, having any relationship or they are totally independent, they are not uh, having any relationship. So how we measure those relationships, we, we use the, uh, uh, the measurement, we call it as a correlation. So correlation means that the variables are having some relationship. It can be a positive relationship or it can be a negative relationship. So how what is a positive correlation means only that X and Y move together. Uh, when the X is increasing, the Y is also increasing. Or when the Y is increasing, the X is increasing. So in the same direction. Or when X is decreasing, Y is decreasing. So that's a positive correlation. Negative correlation is, it's not like decreasing. It's a negative that one is increasing, the other is decreasing. The one is decreasing, the other is increasing. So if X is increasing, Y is decreasing. And if X is uh, decreasing, Y is increasing. So that type of relationship is called as a negative correlation. But when we, are see, uh, when we uh, want to see the relationship, it is also important to see what is cause and what is the effect. Causation is important as well. So <clears throat> finding that X and Y are correlated in not, uh, is not a direct evidence of a casual relationship. The casual relationship means the cause and effect relationship. Like if we want to see uh, the cause of a cancer death, so we can see that cigarette uh, smoking and all these things uh, is uh, one of the cause or a, uh, a pollution uh, is one of the cause of an increase in uh, death uh, due to cancer. So this relationship uh, is existing. Uh, but uh, if we want to see inverse of it, it there's no, that's, you have to be very careful in the cause and effect relationship. One very common thing that we can uh, understand, like we see that in some areas, uh, if the number of police officers increase, the crime is increasing. So what is cause, what is effect? It's important. We can, we can read the data in this way as well that, as the number of police officers are increasing, the crime rate is increasing. But this reading is not correct. The correct reading is that the as the number of crime is increasing, we need to increase the police officers. And that's why the police officers are increasing. So it is the, the variables are there. They have a positive correlation. But we have to see that which one is the cause and which one is the effect. Can economists design control experiments now? This is the last one that uh, it is a science, but it is not a social, uh, it is not a pure science. It's a social science. And that's why it is very hard for the economist to do uh, a, a experiment, controlled experiments, uh, like what we can do in uh, biology, what we can do in physics, what we can do in uh, chemistry, uh, but that is not possible to do in economics because it is not possible that you see, okay, what is an impact of uh, increase the price of this product uh, of the demand? So you increase the price one day and see that, uh, okay, today how much it, it is uh, it is it is hard so what the uh, uh, so mostly the economists are relying on on uh, secondary data or the data they can get it from the other. like uh, uh, if we want to see that uh, if we increase the minimum wage what is an impact on the unemployment so we can see somewhere that those those uh, regions or those cities or those countries where uh, the uh, the minimum wages increase and we get the data from there and see that okay what is the uh, relationship with these two variables so controlled uh, experiments are hard to do in econ uh, economics but in recent years some economists have begun adopting techniques that have been used in medical field like randomized control trials 
RCT approach uh, underlying casual among economic variables. So that's they can uh, do, uh, but not uh, purely scientific uh, way of uh, doing experiment like in a lab uh, in economics, it's hard to do that. Uh, 